Rauner versus Pritzker. It's one of 36 governor's races on the ballot today and very possibly the most expensive gubernatorial campaign in U.S. history. CBS 2's Mike Puginelli joins us now live in Winnetka where the incumbent governor just voted. Hi, Mike. Hi, Governor Bruce Rauner and Illinois First Lady Diana Rauner. We're just here in the last half hour or so casting their ballots in the hopes that Illinois voters will give him another chance to lead the state for four years. Now, Rauner is down by double digits, according to some polls, what the incumbent governor calls those baloney. He says he surprised voters with his victory four years ago and expects to do the same thing around this time. Now, in 2014, he far outspent his rival Democratic Governor Pat Quinn, but this time, the Republican mega millionaire is the one who's being outspent by, in his estimate, close to $100 million. Still, he's hoping for another four year term. I'd like to build on the success that we've had in our first term for education funding. We want to expand that for job growth. We've had great success growing the economy. We want to get even more jobs. We'd like to bring down our property taxes. They should be focused on the fact that Juliana and I are fighting for them. We want to make sure that we're lifting up working families all across the state. We want to raise wages, create jobs, lower the cost of health care, make sure everybody gets covered. Now, J.B. Pritzker, who you just heard from there, plans to make as many as 11 stops on this election day. He began early this morning in the back of the yards before moving on to Roseland and then Englewood, where we caught up with him. In all, he and his running mate, Juliana Stratton, plan to make 15 stops today before wrapping things up at the Marriott Marquis in the South Loop tonight. That, of course, compares with the governor, who's basically making this stop. He said his people are working the phones today, though. As for the cost of this election, in total, more than $280 million has been raised. That for a job that pays just over $177,000 a year. <laughs> Reporting live in Winneka, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Marissa Aaron. All right, Mike, thank you.